Listen carefully. This is the sound of the seismic shift in Japan's energy debate. Away from nuclear energy, say 20,000 people on a day of protest in Tokyo, to renewable, sustainable sources. Coming on the heels of the likely full meltdown of three reactors at the Fukushima nuclear plant. We need electricity, but we can't put lives at risk, says Kentaro Morisawa. He adds, we have to be responsible for our children. Japan's energy for the next generation may be here, in this empty lot, just the size of four baseball parks. It doesn't look like much, says Accenture's managing director, Yuji Nishimura, but don't be fooled. So this is the future? Yes, this is the future. On this land, no coal, no nuclear energy? No nuclear energy, no coal. An environmentally smart town, self-sustainable, producing zero emissions. This is Fujisawa, just outside of Tokyo. Panasonic Corporation owns the land and, with eight other Japanese companies, sees this private venture as the environmentally friendly subdivision of the future. 1,000 households connected on a smart grid, designed to be green from the ground up. Houses built to reduce carbon footprints, like Panasonic's Eco House, which serves as a model for the smart town's homes. Is this the primary change in the Echo House? Yes, it's here, says Hiroyuki Morita, in the rooftop solar power panels, lithium battery power storage, and energy-saving designs in every appliance and corner of this house. Morita calls it the beginning of an energy revolution. How much changed after the nuclear crisis began? We used to think of getting energy from one single big infrastructure, he explains, like the Tokyo Electric Company's nuclear plants. He adds Japan's earthquake and nuclear crisis changed everything. People want to get energy on a smaller individual scale. But that's easier said than done. Japan gets an estimated 30 percent of its energy from nuclear power. Even anti-nuclear activists admit that shifting to renewables means less consistent, reliable energy sources. And that's a tough sell in an energy-hungry metropolis like Tokyo. But in the ongoing nuclear crisis, consumers now want to buy into an eco-town like Fujisawa, say the corporations behind the project. Government can't answer that desire immediately, but private groups can. It's not only in Japan, but the world. We expect this sort of development will spread. A small idea with a big promise and challenge, and hopes to solve an even larger worldwide energy crisis. Kyung Law, CNN, Fujisawa, Japan.